Um, yeah. Hey, Lauren, how are you doing? Good, thanks. Excellent. Uh, we were chatting the other day, and you said you had an idea for November that wasn't involving moustaches. That's right. It's, um, yeah. So tell us what, what you're thinking. Yeah, so um, having suffered from anxiety and depression, sort of having a look through um, some podcasts and some um, yeah, reading material, and there's, there's a lot out there, um, especially coming up to November yep. um, or November. And I was actually listening to a podcast and they were talking a lot about, um, yeah, being mindful and being present and self-reflection and gratitude journals and all that sort of stuff, which were very helpful tools. Um, but I was just um, yeah, thinking, oh, what about if we chuck the God stuff in it? How much awesome would it be? <laughs> much more <laughs> awesome that would be. Yeah, yeah, sure. So when you say chuck the God stuff in, yeah. Um, so Movember is a play on November. Yep. Uh, you've got to take on that. Yeah, yeah. So November. Um, so, uh, K-N-O-W. Yes. W. Yeah. November. Yeah, so okay. knowing. So, um, yeah, it's sort of a, a tool that I thought I would use and, and hopefully be a blessing for many others that um, and kickstart in November just because we can. But it would sort of be, um, yeah, a, a, a sort of a tract or a, a journal way of looking at, at God's word, but also self-reflecting. So, um, yeah. So, no. First of all, knowing God, um, knowing His character, uh, rather than being led by our emotions and our feelings, but knowing what is stable and consistent is God's character. So, reading His word. Okay. So, this is a time where we're encouraging us to reflect on how we know God in His word. Yep. Great. Absolutely. So, read now, but I will know God. Um, yeah, know ourselves. So uh, one of the things that I've learned a lot is a bit of self-reflection. So getting to the end of the day or halfway through the day and going, how did I feel about that? I had a difficult conversation. How, how did I actually feel about that? How did, um, and just reflecting on that and reflecting on decisions that I've made through the day. Um, so yeah, knowing uh, why I made those choices and being able to adjust my thinking or sometimes repent of if I've made a really poor choice. But, um, yeah, just also just labelling how I felt in certain situations. But, yeah. And so you do that in what way, Lauren? You just literally have to have a moment before you go to bed and you just run through the day in your head? or Try to throughout the day. Um, yeah, if I was short with the kids, why did I re respond in that way where other days I might not? And, um, yeah, if I feel really down for some particular reason, um, yeah, what things contributed to that. But also, if I had an awesome day, what contributed to that as well? Like, yeah. what are the things that I can maybe replicate in other days to make it awesome as well? So, Great. Yeah, self-reflection. So, know God, know yourself. Yeah. Two helpful things so far. Yeah, there's a third one. Yeah, know your blessings. So, um, yeah, a, a big thing that I've learned also is being thankful and gratitude. Um, so simple things like a, you know, a nice walk, playing with the dog, um, nice conversations, and just stop and being actually in the moment, present, um, and just really thankful. So writing down the things that we're thankful for. So thankful also for in God's word, but also thankful for the, the blessings that have come. And so, and when you say writing them down, yep. literally, I know you're a book person. You like? I do. I do. I do like to write them down, um, just because it's a, a record. But it's also it gets out of your head and onto a piece of paper. Yeah. To to articulate things. Yeah. So for some people, they might never have thought about journaling, which yep. is this kind of recording, yep. um, or writing a diary or something like that. Yep. Um, sounds like a chick thing to do. Hey, Lauren. Um, do we expect our blokes to do it? Like, have you got yeah. some thought on that? I actually think it's a bit of a chick thing to do as well. But um, it was really interesting on the, the um, podcast I was listening to. It's all men, uh, high-profile men, and um, like Moses Henriques and Braithen and Asta, and they, they Sorry, do I know who they are. Yeah. But other people might not be going, oh, they're high-profile men. Yeah. Uh, they're high profile in what area? Uh, yeah, so Moses Henriques is a, a, a very good cricketer. He captains uh, Sydney Sixers. Not that I like the Sixers, but um, and uh, yeah, very high profile cricketer. And Brayton Astor is a high profile, or was a high profile rugby league player. There's also um, other other gentlemen that lead uh, men's health magazines and editors of that. So very high profile men take these tips so it's not just a that's really thing. helpful so they're sporty blokes yep. they're high achieving blokes yep. and what they're saying is the mental game yep. getting this sense of self um, and engagement with the world and reflecting on that yep. it's actually just good for your mental health absolutely it's yeah. called mindfulness it's the buzzword 
Wonderful. Yes. Excellent. Yep. Uh, so know God, know yourself, know your blessings. Yep. That's it? Yeah, no, um, know the people around you. So often I get to the end of the day and um, I might have had several conversations and might have brushed over a few of them. So it's nice also to reflect on in the tea room at work if I've had a conversation with someone and they've mentioned um, their sick child three or four times and I might not have even clicked on that, um, that oh, they're really battling with this or an ill parent that I've, you know, watch the TV or my phone rather than hmm. clicked onto that. Um, but also people in my house, if um, one of the boys come home and they go, oh, it was a really hard day because such a, an exam or something like that, I'm like, oh, you'll be right, um, and brush it off. So just reflecting on the emotions of the people around me and how I can pray for them and how I can better care for them as well. So, um, yeah, n knowing the people around me so I can care for them but also pray for them. That's really great. Um, and again, it's about awareness, right? Yep. So awareness of myself, the world around me, what yep. God's doing, uh, what he's saying to me, but also yep. how I'm engaging with those who God's brought into my life. Yep. Yeah, excellent. Absolutely. So that's four things. Yep. And just wrapping it up, knowing how to pray. Um, so knowing God, knowing yourself, knowing your blessings, knowing the people around you, and, and then knowing how to pray. So it's good to reflect, and it's, it's really awesome to give yourself that time, but we want it to go into a space, into a sovereign God yep. that knows us better than we know ourselves and knows the people around us better than we know ourselves. So um, instead of just thinking them out loud or writing them down, why not deliver them into the hands of a loving God? So yeah, brilliant. Um, just giving ourselves that time to, to just take a breath and reflect on the blessings and the things around us is really important and putting God into the picture. Really helpful, Lauren. And so uh, not just crashing with Netflix until I can't keep my eyes open, yep. but actually that last moment maybe of our day yep. where we reflect and just turn it all back to God in prayer. So I suspect not only is that going to help our mindfulness and a whole bunch of things, it might even help our sleep as well. Right? Absolutely, absolutely. But I think it's not even at the end of the day. Sometimes it's halfway through the day. Yeah, great. Um, just having those snippets at lunchtime or something like that. Many people are working from home and have a bit more space, um, but also on lunch breaks or whatever. You can just stop and give yourself a little bit of time. What am I thankful for? Um, and then turning into prayer. Everyone's got a notebook on their phone. They can jot some, some things down there. Um, yeah, just being more present and not having your brain into uh, non-productive things, but things that we can yeah, hand over to God, but also just be present and thankful and rejoice in what we have. That's brilliant. All right, thanks so much. Um, it's lovely. We, we probably bookended the uh, cricketers, sports players bits with God and prayer. Yep. Um, and I suspect that's something that they would be missing, but something we can't miss that's as it. God's church Absolutely. if that's what we're doing. Um, so November. November. I think it sounds great, Lauren. Yep. Um, and if people want to find out a little bit more, we'll have some stuff in the newsletter and um, maybe even a little bit of a resource for them to jot some stuff yep. down. Yeah, I'll come and have a chat, but I'm up for the challenge. So I hope great. everyone else is and it's a good talk. Yeah, awesome. Um, thanks so much, Lauren. No worries. Okay. <laughs>